Oh crap, I did not know I was recording. <clears throat> That's my remote, so I can turn my music off. Tony 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 is my favorite group. Fun facts, but let's get into the video. Welcome back to Life is Aisha. Today we're doing a pink haul. I know it's been probably close to a year, if not over a year, since I did my last one. And that's really just because I don't shop here a whole lot. So that's kind of why I kind of splurge just a tiny bit on this haul. But um, we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to start with the smaller items and work my way up to the bigger, more expensive items. I have my little invoice here that I'm going to be referencing throughout the video. But they did give me this little fragrance little book here so it's a little booklet and it has on it victoria's secret bun street london lux gifts fine fragrance and a accessories collection so it has like a sneak peek of like all of the new perfumes they're offering at least i think they're new because i don't really buy perfumes from victoria's secrets um sometimes i buy the body sprays but i'm not really one of the perfume type of girls i like to get more kind of a little higher end perfumes but um they have little samples of each one so the first one is the victoria's secrets bum shell the next one is the bum shell intense um victoria's secret teas this is like such a pretty bottle i'm actually thinking about purchasing this just because i like the packaging of it the next one is dream angel that's how that looks if any of you all have like used some of these let me know i know how the bombshell smells i do know how that one smells but i'm not quite sure about the other ones and i think i know how love smells but also underneath they have like a little you know rub on that you can put on yourself so i will be using those um whenever you know i think about it and they also have one that's called very sexy for him so for your guy or wh whomever in your life you should let them try this out if they like it you should buy them the full size since it is holiday season so it's time to start christmas shopping but this was just kind of i guess like a slightly early christmas gift to myself because you know don't cheat yourself treat yourself but um i'll lift one of these up this is the victoria's secret bum shell yeah that smells really good but let's get right into the items so i did purchase let's see one, two, three, four, five different panties. And I'm going to open these up and show them to you. Each one of those were um, $5.69. So it was kind of like the, what is that? You know, they have like a little promo, so many for $27 or something. But I got all of these um, either in a size medium or a size large. The kind that I like to get are the Cheeksters and the Boy Shorts. So this is how one of them looks. It's this navy and white print. And then across the band, it is silver and maybe <laughs> look I'm, I'm losing what i'm trying to say but these are a size medium and i i do mediums or large it just really depends on if i think they're going to be too stretchy or whatever but um i like little underwear like this they're like super comfortable and it's just like the back of it so hey yeah, these would be cheekster paint just some black all black ones and yeah these are and I got these in a large actually because they kind of have like their material that's kind of slippery a little bit but not really slippery you know if you get what I'm saying it's not like a true band so I got these in this size here and that's just how these look next I picked up another I think these are I want to say these maybe board shorts but let's see and it just has like pink right here on the side so i thought these were super cute and i have two more i have these in olive green and gray and silver as well and i really liked how the front of these looked i thought those were just super cute but um yeah nothing too too special it's a little string on here but I just thought they were so cute and this little band here is so comfortable like um i prefer comfortable underwear unless i'm like trying to go for lingerie but in my everyday underwear this is what i prefer you know and my last one would be these here in pink white and gray i believe would be the cheekster kind and that's just how i look the back of them look 
Now we're gonna go straight into the clothing items that I got. I got two little pink sets. So first we're gonna get into this one and I'm gonna also put an image up on the side because just, I'm kinda close, you know, close frame. So you may not be able to see the full details of it. But this is the bum shell set. This is how it looks. It has just bum shell all down the side of the sweatshirt and I opened it. This is like a tan. Um, I think the color online said oatmeal. So it's like a very, you know, light tan. It's not really like a dark brown or anything. It's like, you know, like a nude color. And this is how it looks. Now, I do get all of my sets in the size large. I am a little, you know, skeptical about the sizes now because I have heard that since they extended to 1X, 2X, and, you know, larger sizes that the size large, some of the clothing fits bigger. And my size large used to fit more true to size. So, I have not tried these on. I'm not really sure. Um, if I try them on before I put this video up, I will let you all know if um the sizing is off but they did extend to i mean not a 1x or 2x i think they just extended to an extra large in the clothing if i'm not mistaken so yeah i'm not really quite sure how they trickled down to the other sizes because just for i know in sneakers when they started doing extended sizes in kids it did throw the sizing off in some of the newer model shoes than the older ones that i had so um just an fyi i'm not sure if it matters or anything exact same color pants so let me show you these. And these probably are nothing special. I don't think they had any wording on it. But I like to wear these sets during the winter time. And I also like to wear them like for airport outfits. This is how the bottom looks. It's just like a simple jogger ankle. Stretchy like ankle. Oh, okay, the pants do have. The pants have Victoria's Secrets right here in this same print. Um, it's kind of like a gold on top of the tan. So it's not super bright. And it's like this thick band. And it also has a drawstring here. So that's good if you want to try to tighten them up some. I did get these items last week. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it already. But I made this order when they had 40% off their website or something like that. And then I was able... I used two codes. So it did make my total a little... A slightly bit cheaper. But not that cheap. Next on to the last set that I have before I get into the shoes that I ordered. And... This one I wasn't too, too excited about, and I'm not sure if I'm going to, going to even keep it, and I'll tell you why. Okay, so on a the website, they are doing this, um, they have this new color in stock, and it's called Cinnabar, which is like one of my favorite fall colors. Basically, it's a burnt orange color, and these are the colors right here. Now, as you can see, these are completely different shades of orange. This is more of the um, burnt orange that I was referring to, the actual Senna bar color. And this is more so of a, almost like a pumpkin spice like orange. So I do really like both of them and I really like the quality of them because this kind of has like that um, acid wash um, feel to it. So it's some areas like right here around the neck is a little bit darker and in other spots is lighter. My sister told me I could pull it off together because I mean it is complementary to one another but you know when you buy something and you're expecting an exact match and it's not the exact match it kind of just you know makes you feel like I don't want this anymore you know but this is how the t-shirt looks it's just a, a short sleeve t-shirt and I was gonna pair this with like a tan jacket I think it's actually behind me probably this tan jacket behind me <laughs> but um this is just how the t-shirt looks it just has love pink right there on the left chest area so I really like it it's like super cute and I already know it's gonna be comfortable because all of my pink tees including the pink sweatshirt top I have on right now they're all super comfortable and you know I actually even sleep in this and sometimes it's like super old so I really do like it and then these are the pants here um, it says best peach on. I guess it's supposed to be really good for your butt. <laughs> but these are just some the the joggers. And this is how the bottom of them look. And my only my other problem with it is that just based off how the these pants are, and it's kind of slightly ribbed uh, on the side there. I honestly feel like these really weren't a matching set. Now, mind you, when you shop on pink and you shop online, 
you can kind of hit and miss when you're trying to match sets. Like this bombshell set here, the first one that I showed you, it actually showed it at the bottom of the screen. Like, you know, it's the match for it. And I want to say it did with this as well. Like I know that the colors were the exact same name. So if two colors are the same name, you're going to expect them to be the right, the same color. But I just feel like how this feels, it's more like a really tight, stretchy jogger material. And this is just more loungy feeling. I just feel like these really were not a good match. But as I said, unless I go on there and I find something that I really think will match this or more than likely go in store since I know what color I'm going to be looking for exactly, I may either exchange this or exchange this. Or I could just wear them together. Um, if I do, then whoever follows me on social media will see it because I will be posting an outfit pic. But um, I'm really just thinking about keeping it. Like, it doesn't look bad or anything at all. But I don't know. I'm torn. <laughs> so let me know down below if you know. Or if you are, you know, engulfed in pink items, let me know if I just bought the, the wrong items or something. Because it could be my own fault. But I'm really blaming them at this point because you all need to have these items the same color. So... Oh, also right here on the ankle, it does have pink on the ankle here. But like I said before, it could have just not been on the website. It could have been sold out. Not really quite sure on that. But on to my favorite part of everything that I bought. I have been wanting some Uggs for a good little while. I own about three, four pair of Uggs already. And I don't live in a state where I really need Uggs. Like, truth be told, like, I could get away with just regular boots. But I just like the feel of Uggs. They're super comfortable. So I've already opened these up just to make sure I had my right shoes in the box because I knew this video was going to be delayed. These are the women, um, Fluffy's fluffy yell yeah slides and they're in the color black in a size eight it's just how the box looks um it's just a regular ugg box tan box um i think all the ugg boxes come like that i will say that it has the swing back top my old boxes used to have the top that came off so that's a good thing and this is how it looks when you first open the box and i will take it out i'll take one of these out and show you all so these are how the slides look and I have been wanting these slides for a long time. I just said to myself, can I really justify this purchase? Because these were, the original price of these were $100 for a pair of slides. But then when I think about it, when I was really into buying the fancy slides when they first came out, those were like $85, $95. So I'm like, and those were Puma brand and nothing against Puma, but Uggs just stand the test of time. Like I've been, the, all the Uggs that I have, I've been having those for years. So I already know that these are going to be good quality items. So this is how the bottom looks. It just has like a rubber gum bottom. And it's a really sturdy bottom. Like if you hit it, like hit against it, you can kind of hear like a, a knocking sound. So it's really sturdy. It's not like your typical slide that you're going to slide in and start sliding all over the place. These do have a really nice grip on them. And the back of it has Ugg all around it in black and white and it's a stretchy band so it's not going to be uncomfortable i have tried these on but i just put the packaging in back in there for the purpose of this video and that's just how it looks i'll take out the clear insert so you can see how it looks without that end but it is open toe but i'm very satisfied with these because they're everything i wanted okay on to the last item and hopefully everyone is still watching you know so the next item i got are the Women Classic Mini 2 Uggs, and you can already see what these are by the picture on the box, but I will show you all. Oh, and see, that's what I was talking about. I'm assuming with the actual Ugg boots, the box, the top is detached from it, because as you can see, it's taped, but this right here is separate from it. I like the other box better, honestly, but, you know, whatever. This is how it looks when you first open the box. It just has the Ugg tissue and hold on my little Ugg authentication card fell out but this is just to show that you have an authentic pair of Ugg boots this is just how these look they're super cute to me now I actually do have a pair of tan Uggs that are the regular size but the only thing about those is I did purchase it purchase those in kid sizes and to me the kid sizes versus the women's sizes it didn't really match up to me i feel like i needed a larger size and kid size than i got but i did purchase those years ago when i was living in michigan when i really 
got my wares out of my Uggs. So, and they are not the same material. These are suede. The one, other ones I have are kind of like a leather type of feel. So, that's why I'm like, okay, I can justify buying these. Do you that? Am I the only one that has to talk myself into if I spent over $100 or $100 on something, I have to give myself a pep talk before I actually click submit order. But these were um, $140. $140 and these are the same size as size 8 in women. This is just how they look. I do like the little pull tab right here on the back. So like it makes it easier to slip the boot on and off. I will take the insert out. I have not tried these on but it's just this little white insert and it also has this little brown um, shoe tree in the inside of it. But I will not be taking it out because for whatever reason it doesn't want to hardly come out and I don't want to fool with it right now. So the inside is furred, you know, the typical Ugg fur. If you ever own any Uggs or just any kind of winter boots, then you know what I'm talking about. It's a really warm feel and really plush feel on the inside of it. The bottom is the typical Ugg bottom. It has a really nice grip on it and it just has the sticker, um, real fur from lamb. Fur has been artificially dyed and treated. The origin of the fur is Australia. The product is made in china and you can remove this off of here which i will be removing when i get ready to wear them the weather permits so i can get these in but that's going to bring us to the end of this haul um if i did not tell you the price of each item i will be because i don't think i told you the price of my outfits and i just realized it now but i will be having the prices on the screen and if i can find a link to these items i will have them in my description box so as always remember to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching